There are several common grounds for contesting a will. One of them is that the testator or the person who wrote the will was not of sound mind at the time the document was created. So oftentimes we'll get calls from uh, the heirs of someone who's on their deathbed and they're asking us to create a will for that person. We certainly don't want to create one for someone who doesn't know what they're doing or is not completely aware of what they're doing. So that's probably one of the, the, the most um, common ones that we see. Another reason is excluding a surviving spouse or a child. So someone who's dependent upon the decedent um, and here's a will that shows up and it cuts that person out of the will. That can be a ground for contesting the will. And both Kansas and Missouri do allow for a surviving spouse or child to elect against the will and get a significant share of the estate so that they have property that they can survive on. Another ground is that a new will exists. So maybe there was a will that was done 20 years ago and then a new will was created a year or two prior. So the person that has admitted that old will isn't aware of the new will and the new will comes forward and that can be used to contest the, the validity of the old, old will. Also, um, you can state that a will is defective, like it wasn't witnessed properly or notarized correctly. And generally, when we do a will here at WM Law, we have it witnessed by two people as well as notarized. That's called being self-authenticating. And if it's notarized and witnessed correctly, then it can't be challenged for that basis. Another basis is um, that the maker was coerced to make it or or modify the will. This this always brings to mind, you know, an old John Wayne uh, movie where mother was uh, forced to sign over the ranch to uh, the local cattle company. I can't remember which John Wayne movie that was, but it's kind of in along the, those lines. Another reason for contesting a will is that a will attempts to distribute property that really isn't a part of the decedent's estate. Maybe it was already uh, granted by a, a quick claim deed or beneficiary deed to someone uh, else and then the will says that that property should be granted to another person. Well, if the property isn't part of the estate, then the will can't turn around and change the ownership of that property uh, if it's not a part of the estate. Another reason for contesting a will is claiming that fraud exists. For example, um, that the will has been forged or the, the, the person who signed it, the testator, was tricked into signing the will. If it can be proven, that's certainly a basis for contesting a will.